हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल यू अबाउट द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ एल्किस एंड साइक्लो एल्किस यूजिंग द थैलियम ट्राइनाइट्रेट नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू सम मोर ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन यूजिंग दिस थैलियम ट्राइनाइट्रेट सो लेट सी द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ एल्काइंस So take one of the alkyne. And we have thallium trinitrate. Okay. So here one of this pi bond act as a nucleophile and will attack over this electrophilic center. nitrate group we leave out no3 minus now what we can write positive charge will create over here double bond so one of the positive charge will create over here and carbon carbon thallium bond will get formed and two nitrate groups left over here okay now in next step what will happen in next step we have nucleophile suppose we have methanol as a nucleophile it will attack over here nitrate ion can grab this proton and the nucleophile over will attack over this electrophilic carbon center so what we can write Okay. Now, now in next step, what will happen? <coughs> This carbon-thallium bond will get broken down. Being this weak bond, it will break break down, and this phenyl shift one two phenyl shift will occur. Okay. So here. Here, yeah. so another methanol molecule so here one two phenyl shift and removal of one of the nitrate ion and thallium nitrate in plus one oxidation state now thallium which was presently in Plus three oxidation state is now converted into plus one oxidation state. Okay, so now we can write next step. In next step, now this molecule, this molecule, either it may go complete hydrolysis or it may go half hydrolysis. So suppose if we have, if we do the hydrolysis, and suppose if we do the complete hydrolysis, complete hydrolysis, then what will happen? This will get converted into so much and here much, and finally. Finally, that is this is now converted into. Finally, this is now converted into. Double bond O and this is OH. So this is now converted into acid. So this is one of the product which is formed over here. Clear? Now if we do the half hydrolysis, suppose I do. Half hydrolysis, and in that case, 
only one of the this methoxy group that would be converted into this OH. And no doubt uh, this will get converted into this will now get converted into ester. So product here that we will get that is here single bond O and this is OM. So we have we are getting here ester. So this is the another product. This is suppose this is product number two. So <coughs> after this one two phenyl shift, after one two phenyl shift, two types of product that we can obtain. Obtain one is the acid, another is the ester. Okay. Now <coughs> another product that we can obtain is let's see the third product. Okay. So suppose it doesn't undergo. 1 to phenyl shift. Suppose it doesn't undergo 1 to phenyl shift, then what would be the product in this case? Okay, so let's see the next one. So here, positive charge here and now the methanol molecule okay so we have suppose we do the uh, is one of the methanol molecule may come over here Step. So suppose again next methanol molecule in attack over this carbon center and this carbon will have the negative charge. Okay. So this carbon will now have the negative charge. Now upon hydrolysis, first of all, now we have this, now this nucleophilic center, this nucleophilic center can again react with the thallium trinitrate. So we have Now if we do the hydrolysis, then this will get converted into this OH, suppose this is OH and So removal of this H2 molecule. So what we will get? You will get the one of the keto group will form over here and this OME. Clear? Now this carbon thallium bond, carbon thallium bond will break. This carbon thallium bond will break, and 
suppose if we have this methanol molecule, next methanol molecule will attack on, on this center and we will get here now this thallium trinitrate that we used here but again it will be converted into thallium nitrate in plus one oxidation state and finally after this hydrolysis so and this removal of this H2 molecule we will get this product so this is third product 1 2 diketone S1 so what we have seen uh, this uh, alkyne alkyne it can either be converted into acid or ester via 1 2 phenyl shift or it may be converted into this 1 2 diketone where you have seen this the thallium trinitrate it reacts twice to get the this 1 2 diketone okay so now let's see you now the oxidation of Let's see now the oxidation of ketone. Oxidation of ketone. Okay. So if we have suppose take the example. If we have ketone, then how it will react? So first, first this is in keto form. We can convert it into the in all form and one of the double bond that will be at forms so it is now converted into in all now this we can react in a previous example like the previous example so this double bond act as a nucleophile and nitrate ion removed and now what we can write OH over here and the positive charge the where the positive charge will come the positive charge <coughs> will come over here and this CH2 Okay, now so in next step what we can write so here again we can do the this hydrolysis is followed by this hydrolysis so followed by this hydrolysis suppose I do the hydrolysis then this will get converted into so again we can write the reaction OH and this is OH Now here the removal of this H2 molecule and that's why we can write, I am writing directly the removal of this H2 molecule that will give you the, after how it is removed and this H2 molecule will get removed and we can write it, we can write it here. Okay, so now <coughs> in next step what will happen? This nitrate ion, here again, this, uh, uh, this nitrate ion, this carbon thallium, this carbon thallium bond will break, this carbon thallium bond will break, hmm? 
and you will get and this nitrate ion will act as a nucleophile intramolecular okay so we can write so here this oxygen will get connected to this CH2 O and N so we have double bond over here and this oxygen positive charge negative charge and this bond has broken so this bond has broken so and we have got one of the helium nitrate in plus one oxygen state will come out okay <clears throat> so what is the product this product is in this case ketone ketone is giving ketone is giving alpha nitro alpha nitro ketone so ketone get converts into the alpha nitro ketone so this is alpha nitro ketone okay so this is the oxidation product of the ketone now <clears throat> now let's take the oxidation of alpha beta unsaturated ketone now let's see the oxidation of alpha beta unsaturated ketone Okay, so if I take one of the example, this is alpha beta unsaturated ketone. So helium trinitrate Positive charge will come over here. One of the positive charge will come over here. This helium carbon bond, helium carbon bond will get formed here. Okay. In next step, suppose if we have a in next step, we have suppose nucleophile. So this nucleophile will attach over here and what we will get is okay now this carbon thallium bond will break and uh, what we may write and this phenyl shift will one to phenyl shift will occur so one to phenyl shift removal of this NO2 nitrate ion and helium nitrate in plus one oxygen state will leave out now what we can write pH C double bond O now we have this pH over here and and double bond C double bond O1 and here H. Okay, so in next step, in next step what we can write, so this bond, this bond will move over here. Sorry. This bond will move over here and this bond will get broken 
so it means the removal of the removal of co carbon monoxide will occur and what the product we can write okay so all right what we can write here so oh plus Okay, so this, so here this O minus H O plus will come over here, and we will have this product. Now again, this is the enolic form. This is the enolic form. So another molecule of this thallium trinitrate. So we may write O H. So now thallium again, if we have H2O, then this thallium carbon bond will break, this will go away and we can write, we may write OH over here and one OH over here. Finally, positive charge sorry so one of the positive charge will create over here okay And finally, we will have again this one to diketone. So the product that would be really obtained. So removal of H2 molecule from here, and this that would be converted into this keto form to get this one uh, one to diketone. Okay. So now oxidation of H plus. Okay. So if we have for cyclic ester, so in this case that can be written in a phenolic form. Okay, so now. Thallium trinitrate. Okay, so one of this nitrate ion that we leave out, and what we will have. carbon thallium bond it will break and we will have this product okay now let's come to the this oxidation of cyclopropane So 
So let's oxidize this cyclopropane. So if we have so this three member ring being strained. So let's take this bond and we will have now positive charge will come over here. This is CH2. Here. Now the next step. Now this carbon calcium bond breaks and another methanol molecule will attack this carbon center and we may write the product. So this may be the product in this case. Okay. So let's see one more example. So let's take the example of one of the this bicyclo compound. Suppose we have to oxide this one. So no doubt this three membered ring that will break out. So this three membered ring that can break externally, suppose this is via path A, or it may break internally, that's right, path B. Suppose I have break this external bond. Okay, suppose let's break it via path A. Then suppose I break this bond. Means positive charge will come over here. So in this case, this positive charge will come over here and what we can write so this bond okay Now in another step, so Okay, so now carbon thallium bond it will take and next and we will have the product this will be the product.
this is one of the product when via path A. Now let's see when internal cleavage occur. So let's see via path B. So in this case, post positive charge will come over here and this positive charge will generate over here when this bond breaks, one of the positive charge will break here and carbon thallium bond that will be formed over here. So the product that forms, the final product that will form it will be this will be the final product. Okay. <coughs> this will be the final product. So this seven member, this six member ring, and this will be converted into the this seven member ring. Okay, so this is about the uh, thallium-based reagent or this thallium nitrate. Oh, thank you.